As more people across the Mid-South are eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine, the more reports of people having side effects after their second shot. And some as minor as sore arm and others as severe as high fever. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon joins us live from the Lander Center in South Haven where people are getting vaccinated. You talked with people today. Did they say they had experienced side effects? Yeah, Merle, a lot of people said that uh, they've heard from friends and family after receiving the second dose, they experienced more severe side effects. So it made them a little nervous about, you know, coming back after the first dose and getting the second one. But I was able to talk to a doctor today and he tells us it's completely normal. You'll be OK. I live with somebody who is immune compromised and I am doing this really for them. Jenna Thompson just got her second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Jenna says she didn't experience any side effects after the first shot and is hoping for the same this time. I actually, I felt pretty good. So let's fingers crossed. <laughs> right. But as more people get vaccinated, the more people are reporting severe side effects after the second dose of either Moderna or Pfizer or the single dose of Johnson and Johnson. These side effects can include nausea, fatigue, fever, headache, and more. My mother, um, who does not live here, but she got her second shot and she felt tired. I asked Dr. Nick Highsmith with Labonner Children's Hospital why more people are experiencing more severe side effects after their second dose. Your body's immune response and your body's immune system sees that a little piece of that COVID-19 that it saw, you know, three or four weeks ago. And this time it's already seen it before. So it uh, really jumps in there and says, oh, this might be the real thing. So then it makes some antibodies. Dr. Highsmith says usually people feel crummy for about a day or so, but he says don't let that stop you from getting your second shot. You're doing it for the your loved ones, the people that are out there that, that need you to be safe as well. And Dr. Highsmith asks that you don't take aspirin or ibuprofen before you get vaccinated because it may make it less effective. However, after if you feel some side effects and you need some medicine, he says it's fine to take some. Reporting live in South Haven, Dominique Dillon, Fox 13 News.